Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss about bias and variance and we are going to do this video on a whiteboard. We are going to understand how these two concepts work using an example. So let's get started without any delay. So assume that we there are two data scientists and they are given with the some data and let's say that data is about a house buying property and we are given with let's say we have only one independent variable uh, which is let's say area and which is given in let's say square feet and square feet and we have uh, the target variable as the price of the property so this is my price y axis represents the price so there are two data scientists they are uh, just kind of uh, have the same data points let's say i uh, kind of draw these data points here and let's say this i'm just uh, taking some example and i represented this data point something like this way and they just kind of representing them uh, on on a graph and during that uh, since these are uh, represented on graph so uh, during the training what we generally do as a practice we kind of uh, divide our uh, divide our uh, basically uh, data into two subsets training data set and test data set so here what i have done uh, the green dots or green circle represents the test data points and um, the data points which are kept for uh, uh, testing purpose and the same way I let's say I represent them here in this case as well uh, some random data points I am marking them as green data points since these are taken uh, on random basis during the training and the one common thing in both of these cases is that both of these data scientists are new kind of uh, to the field of machine learning and they created a model which is kind of overfitting so what actually happens during uh, the creation of a model which is kind of overfitting so an overfitting model tries to fit the uh, kind of you know the model line uh, considering each and every data points uh, each and every training data points so here uh, what will happen in this case since my model is overfitting i am assuming that so what will happen that my this model will try to capture or try to fit the line considering each and every uh, training data points so it will kind of cover that and the same way let's say i created a line for this case as well uh, the, this this data scientists have also done the same mistake so assume that this is how my model line come for this case uh, for this one and this is how my model line come for this one so what will happen in this case of overfitting so this is a case of overfitting so what will happen in this case of overfitting in this case what will happen since each of the uh, each of the training data point is covered during the uh, during the training of model so our training error will be zero that means we are not going to do any error while training so our training error will be zero but during the testing what will happen let's say these are the these green data points when we will we will try to predict using this model uh, what will happen in that case is that uh, so let's say for this green data point what will happen is uh, my model will predict this green data point at this line but it is actually here so the gap which is uh, between this green and blue point will contribute to the error the same way for this data point same way for this data point so for all of the green data points there is some error so which will which will sum up to a high number i'm just taking a, uh, a number of 100 so that means we have a high error during the testing but we do not have any error during the training and the same way since this guy has also done the same mistake so uh, let's say this uh, 
in this case we have more data points so assume that uh, this comes little bit more but the case is the same so assume that if for this case it came around let's say te um, test error comes around 150 so you can see that there is a high variance the high variation among the test error based on the uh, the training data points that have been chosen by the two data scientists so this is the case of high variance since there is a there is a high variation among the uh, test errors so this is the case of high variance now let me take uh, the same thing with another case of underfitting so i'm going to rub this and uh, now assume that these are the uh, same data scientist and they were asked that you that you guys you have created a model which is overfitting go back and do something and come with some something else so let's say they created a, a model and the same way uh, this these are the data points there which i just kind of representing here so the same way uh, in this case as well let's say uh, green are my green are the my uh, these green are my test data points these are the green are the da test data points assume that these are green these green are the data points uh, test data points and in in this case uh, in this case uh, what they actually did is let's say they created uh, uh, this guy created a linear line li let's say linear regression line and the another guy also this one also created a line something like this a uh, little bit different but this is, is the concept is same he also created a linear regression line so you can see that what will happen in this case since in this case uh, this is the case of underfitting underfitting means that this while creating a model this model for this particular data set uh, the data scientist has not uh, covered all the or captured all the uh, pattern among the training data points he has not covered all the training data points so uh, what will happen there will be some error in training here as well there will be some error in training and let's say this error is let's say for this data point is 40 and for this data for this data scientist is 45 i'm just taking hypothetical numbers here and uh, the same way during the testing phase what will happen is that uh, these are the so this is my actual data point this green one and but my model will predict for this green data point here so the gap between these two is uh, will contribute to the error and the same way for other data points so and same here if i calculate here so there will be some error so that means uh, my test error is also here some value i'm just taking some number let's say here 35 and let's say here uh, my 30. so you can see that there is a lot of error in during the training as well so this case represents a uh, high bias because high bias means that uh, model has not uh, captured all the uh, pattern among the training data points so due to which there is a training error at high um, high training error which leads to high bias and uh, there is test error but there is not that much variance since so this is 30 35 there is not much variation so it is the case of low variance so these these are the two cases where one is high bias and low variance and in our previous case we had high variance and now if so what should be our ideal case in the case of ideal scenario we should be uh, these guys should be uh, predicting I mean these two data scientists should be uh, these two data scientists should be a uh, kind of uh, doing these uh, they should be come up something like this way and something like this way 
so in this case what will actually happen is uh, i'm taking the same data points and so everything is same so but my model line is different in earlier cases uh, my model line was different uh, in first case we were overfitting the second case we were underfitting this is our best fit so what is the best fit whereas in uh, our train error is also low and my test error my test error is also low let's say this is and for this case let's say my uh, train error comes out to be let's say 15 and my test error comes out to be let's say 12 something like this way so in this case what uh, what will be the uh, case this is the case of since uh, training error is not that much high so it means that uh, it has low bias and there is not much variation among the test errors so it has a uh, low variance as well i am sure you must have confused between low variance low bias high variance low bias and everything uh, so uh, i have one um, i can conclude all these thing into uh, one uh, image as well so the i have covered three different cases now i am going to uh, let me provide a gist of all these so assume that we are given um, we have a bullseye uh, so you must have seen this uh, let's say this is some kind of you know uh, the bullseye target or something like you can say and let me uh, so this is my low bias this case is my let's say here is low bias here is my high bias and here is my low variance and here is my high variance So what will actually happen is let's say let me create uh, so in this case as well so when we have let's say uh, when we have all the data points so this this inner circle this inner circle represents the truth so when we have all the data points uh, which are near to this and they are also let's say in a clustered manner so this represents my low bias so this is my lb and low variance so low bias and low variance that means my uh, data points are near to the uh, truth and they are not that much scattered uh, they have not that much variance so assume and in this case let's say um, what is this case this case is little bit different so let me take one two three and four so you can see that here we have low bias low bias means that these are uh, these are near to the near to the truth but they are kind of scattered so this is the case of low bias and high variance so that means they have variation among the points but they are near to the truth this is the case where as in we have high bias and low variance so in this case what will happen uh, high bias means that uh, they are kind of away from the truth but they are uh, kind of scattered uh, not scattered so something like this way you can think of this is my truth and this is my these are the my points so that means uh, they are away from the truth so that means they have high bias but they are kind of very near to each other so that means they have low variance and the fourth case is the case whereas in 
they all the data points are away from the truth as well and they are scattered as well so that means this is the case high bias and high variance high bias and high variance so that's all for this video guys uh, if you have any comments uh, please do let me know and if you like this video please share it with your friends and please subscribe my channel for more uh, machine learning videos thanks for watching